Hi Dressa, Katie's waiting here. Today we're going to draw Mr. Krabs from Spongebob Squarepants. So let's get started. To draw Mr. Krabs, let's start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and just draw a really tall curve that comes all the way up. Say about that much. I'm going to round off the top. They come right back down. So the top is going to be wider and it's going to get thinner as we come down. We come all the way back. So about that much. And then at the bottom, go ahead and just end it with a curve right at the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing. Oops, same thing on the other side. So it's come right over really close to it. And we're going to draw the same thing. Let's go right up. Come down. And right here at the bottom, once again, just a little curve at the bottom. Okay, so now we have his eyes in. Well, not all of it yet. <laughs> We're going to come in the center, but right here, and I'm going to draw a circle. And same thing on this side. And let's come in here and I'm just going to come to the top and add a little highlight at the top. So it's just a curve right here. And then shade the rest in. Let's see if I add a circle here if it makes sense. So the same thing over here. Hmm. So you can see if you, I'll see if I want to add that, leave that circle in there or not. <laughs> we'll see how it looks later. Okay, so from there, let's come to the top. We're going to draw the lashes. So it's just these three wormy things at the top. <laughs> so just curve and another one. So same thing over here. One. Two and three. There. Okay, so then now let's start to draw his head. I'm going to say, let's come in between the eyes right here. And let's just say about right here. I'm going to add a curve. From this curve, I'm going to imagine it coming through the eye. So about right here, it's going to pop out. And same thing here. So let's bring this down a little bit more because we have to draw this little nose thing that he has right here, right? So come right about here, and I'm going to wiggle this little nose that he has. So it's just a curve, a curve, kind of gets to a sharp point, and then thicken it up, come back down. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. And then from there, right underneath this nose, where this point is, I'm going to skip a little bit, and give myself two points. I'm just going to leave a little gap for now and I'm going to draw a big curve that comes all the way across. So this is going to be the beginning of his mouth. So then from there let's come and we're going to, using this curve, we're going to pop it out, come out and curve and same thing over here. Out and curve and let's go ahead and connect it bottom and up. There, guys, mouth in. Then let's come to the center of this curve and draw a curve inside. And we're going to add um, four of these angle lines. So just kind of center it a little bit. There. Okay, so we have his mouth in. Now let's come back to where we have this little gap. And the reason is because we're going to draw a curve around the mouth. There. So same thing over here. Let's bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so now we're done with that part. So now let's continue his body. We're going to imagine this curve coming through and it's going to come out, say, about right here. 
we're creating this shape, kind of like a triangular shape body. So it's going to get wider and wider as we come down. So just keep that in mind as you're drawing his body. Let's go through different layers. So let's bring this down a little bit more. So now we're trying to draw the midsection now. Pretty much same level and I'll stop. So let's come back up here and we're going to um, right here in the center. Well, okay, let's do this first. Let's come right here. Right underneath and we're going to draw a curve that kind of follows the mouth. And as we come to the center, I'm just going to draw a V. And go back up just like the other side. And from this V, I'm going to draw his collar. So coming in here with a curve, and then go up with a curve. So same thing over here, curve, and then up. So I have his collar in, and then come right in between, and draw a curve right here inside. Okay, so then now let's work on the next level. <laughs> um, so right here, let's bring this down a tiny bit more, and I'm going to join it with another curve for another layer. It's like building a cake, right? Okay, so then on this level, we're going to pop out a curve for his pants. On both sides. And then from there, we're going to continue, come here and continue his body. So right here, it's going to pop out. So from there, let's see, it's going to get fatter, so about that much, I'm going to start to round it in. So about right here, round it in. Okay, so let's bring this in a little bit more. So it's pretty even on both sides. Then from there, I'm going to come, I'm going to skip a little bit of space and then come right in the center here and draw a curve. So then from there, just creating a space here to draw his um, pants. So let's come right underneath here and angle and curve. So same thing over here. Angle, let's bring this in a little bit more and curve for his pants. Just draw a little crease right here. And for his feet, it's nice and simple. <laughs> Just a little stump. <laughs> Angle and up. So same thing here. And up. There. Okay, so then now let's work on his belt since we're about here. I'm going to come to the center and I'm going to draw his belt buckle. So right here in the center, draw a big old belt buckle, round off the corners. And come in here, just draw a rectangle. And then from that, we're going to draw our belt. So let's come and draw this part first. We're going to come in. So it's going to be about this wide. So just remember that about that much. And let's continue this out. We're going to leave a little gap right here. And same thing over here. So on this side, maybe I'll go this way. So whatever is easier for you. But right here, I'll stop. And same thing here. Just leave a little gap and up. So I'll come in here and shade this in since I have my black sharpie so you can see a little bit better for his belt.
So now that we have the belt in, let's come to the center right here. And we're going to draw some details. So right under his belt buckle, two straight lines, and just connect it with a soft curve. And I'm just going to add a, sen a little line right here, just for some details. Okay, so then now let's go ahead and draw his arms. And so right here, in between where his shirt is, we're going to draw a little angle line that comes out and connect it. So same thing on this side. A little bit angle and connect it with a curve. Okay, so let's work on this claw first. So it's just going to be a curve that comes down. And we're going to thicken up that curve. And from there, let's draw his claw. So I'm going to work on this side and pop it up, come down. So this part right here is going to come in a little bit sharper. And then I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle <laughs> towards this center area with a curve. And then let's come on this side. There's another curve that pops out all the way around. So I'm going to come back in here and draw this inside first. So just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And same thing over here, curve. So the most important part is you can, it um, doesn't really matter what you wiggle here, but it's just these two points need to be close to each other. So to make it look like a claw. So then let's go ahead and connect it. There. Okay, so same thing on the other side. So once again, curve, curve. And no, it won't be exactly the same at all. We just want to try to aim for almost the same size. So let's come right here once again. Come out uh, about this much. And once again, the bigger point, curve towards the center, curve to the center, and then come out. And once again, these two points need to be close. And then let's come back up here. So let's see. Almost the same, right? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Looks like these boxing gloves, right? Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with Mr. Crafts here, except of course, we're gonna give him a little heart right here <laughs> to make him my draw so cute, Mr. Crafts. And what do you think? Should we leave that little highlight there? I think we're good. <laughs> so it's up to you if you wanna give it a little highlight right there or not. But that is pretty much it. And if you guys love um, SpongeBob SquarePants, please make sure to check out my playlist for um, all the characters I've drawn so far. And now, uh, thanks so much for watching. And if you love Mr. Krabs here, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.